In this video, I'd like to recap and have some examples with such things as integers, variables, and data types. Integers are another type. So these are whole numbers such as minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And integers are not placed in quotes. A string can contain any character. This includes letters, spaces, punctuation, number digits, and so on. And in a string with digits, the digits are text images rather than representations of numeric values. So here is an example of integer. Let's print out this integer first, and then let's print out a string made of integer. These are characters, and they are treated by Python as characters. So integer we print without quotes, and string we print with quotes. Now a task for you. First print an integer, and then print a strings made of integer characters. Now some words about variables. Variables are named containers. Computer programs often create storage for things that are used in repeated processing like item price, student name, stock symbol, and so on. In Python, a variable is a type of object that can be addressed by its name to access the assigned contents. It's a good practice to give a variable a descriptive name connected by underscore. For example, you could give a variable such a name like item underscore price, student underscore name, and so on. Descript dis descriptive names reduce the name of commands in the code and make it easier to share code or read code written long ago. And variables can hold strings, like in this example. A Python program can refer to the variable and what it holds, like the string value. And of course we can reassign a variable changing the contents. Like so, if we had a variable current underscore message, which contained I'm a string, now we can reassign its value with current message containing new current message. Now we can initialize variables with different data types. Let's see the examples. For example, item price is a decimal or float and student name is string. Now let's assign a variable x integer number data type. And now type of data a variable holds can be changed. For example, Python can change the, the type of data variable it holds from uh, integers like x equals to 22. And now we can change it to a string. Now x holds a string, I'm a string. And again, remember that variables help us to write code that can be used repeatedly. So make sure to give them friendly names. Here are some more examples with variables. And a task for you. Assign a variable and print the value. First assign a string value to a variable, for example student name, then print the value of this variable, and then modify the value of a variable. So assign the student name variable a different string value or a different name. Then again print the value of variable student name and a question for you. What is the difference between 123 and 123 in single quotes? 